We wanted to know who has the authority to quarantine someone if they pose a health risk to you or your family. KXAN's Lindsay Bramson talked to Austin's Health and Human Services Director to find out that answer. We will uh, do whatever is appropriate. Dr. Philip Wong with the Austin Travis County Health and Human Services Department says he's working with county leaders to put a plan in place if someone in our area contracts Ebola. We're looking at, you know, housing options. We're looking at environmental uh, cleanup, uh, what resources available. We've actually, uh, we're looking at the procedures for quarantine. While Dr. Wong wouldn't comment specifically on how the quarantine process would work, he would be the one with the authority to make that decision. He does have the authority to confine, to quarantine, and he has the authority to insist that those who come into contact with a victim uh, be ordered uh, to do certain things also. Just last year, Dr. Wong did place a patient in isolation for tuberculosis. However, it's unclear if Travis County has ever gone one step further and actually quarantined someone. As long as that uh, the outbreak and infection is continuing in West Africa, we can't say that there is zero risk, but we are doing everything we can to bring that risk down to as low as we can. Dr. Wong wants to ensure citizens they will do whatever needs to be done to keep people safe. Lindsay Brampson, KXAN News. Now, while state and local authorities have the power to prevent the spread of Ebola within their own borders, the federal government is in charge of preventing the disease from coming into the U.S. That power was first established through the Public Service Act of 1944. That gave the U.S. Health Service responsibility for guarding U.S. entry points and taking people into quarantine if needed. In 1967, the quarantine operation was transferred to the agency now known as the CDC. At that point, there were quarantine stations at every port, international airport, and major border crossing. This is a map of the current quarantine stations across the country. There are 20 of them. You can see one of them is in Dallas, another in Houston. Officials at these stations can examine or detain anyone suspected of carrying a communicable disease. And Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is making a big donation to help fight Ebola. He made a $25 million pledge this morning. The money will go to the Centers for Disease Control Foundation. It'll help pay for training and assisting first responders.